something I am having a lot of difficulties with. And I'll give reasons for it. The divisions were created in 1968 by Edith and stated the divisions. After 1968 creation, there were issues. And then there was tribunal of inquiry to look into the complaints of the people. The tribunal of inquiry, after it, a white paper, government white paper was issued. The report was known as Ogunaike report. And there some adjustments were made. What is instructive about the tribunal of inquiry is that people that have complaints were given the opportunity to come up with their complaints. And one of the decisions of that tribunal was that a TIOSA should be made to be part of Lagos Council. Ikorodu, you have just said it, Mr. Speaker, with respect, due respect to you and your office, I want to correct the impression. Ikorodu is not just a local government. I just wish that my people will learn from what is happening now. When local, when local government have been created, and they didn't allow more local government to be created for certain sentiments. That's why they are being referred to as one local government. Abede in Ikorodu is far, far bigger than some local governments in the states. Let them go and take it. As I mentioned, as a 2006 census, Ikorodu is reputed to have 535,619 people. Lagos Division was Two seven was one thousand five forty two coming next to Ikeja, the population of four thousand eight hundred and one. For Mr. Speaker, the smallness of a place should not be the reason to either dismantle the place or encumber the place. We have some states in this country larger in land mass than Lagos. But Lagos has the largest population in the whole of Nigeria. AKT cannot compare with Lagos. They created Ondo out of AKT. AKT out of Ondo. Yet when you look at Polish, you can't compare. Because as well as I just want to say is that not as we look at this, most of the time when local governments are to be created, it was as part of the inquiry that we now have the edict being changed into divisional administrative law in 1971, in 1972. The tribunal of inquiry was in 1971. The report was inculcated into a bill and we have that administrative division law of 1972. Before now, we have now used it for almost 49 years. The question we should be asking ourselves, what is the problem? And why are we now trying to unsettle and resettle some people? <laughs> and when said says something, passion, passion. There is no smoke without fire. There is no move without a reason. What is the reason for this? Why take Koshofe and Shomelu out of Ikeja? to further encumbered Ikorodu that is feeling that most of the time when appointments are being made, they do not have their true share. Now you now bring a powerful, two powerful local government to them. <laughs> I do not see why Ali Moshe will be removed from Ikeja and taken to Badabi. And when you talk about Etiosa in Lagos division, why take them to Okay. Mr. Speaker, there are some implications of these things. There is what we call traditional shift 
the traditional chieftaincy councils. When they move there, they will be there. And look at Etiosa. Etiosa, by way of political implication, belongs to Lagos Central. It will now be taken to Lagos East under a pair. But you now be voting in Lagos Central. So these are some of the issues that we are, Mr. Speaker, what I am conversing is that before a thing of this changing an arrangement that has endured for over four decades, there is need to listen, get the input of people who have been together, who have lived together, who have done things together. What are the political, what are the traditional, what are the customary implications of onboarding them and sending them with another local government? So I think that this bill should have come up after we have done an inquiry into it or a stakeholder where people who have been part of the system for something years will have convinced their position and we can now ameliorate it the way it has been done. When in 2003 additional local governments were to be created, a committee was formed and the committee met with people. They listened to them. Some that were to be banished into some other created some other government insisted and they were not moved. Some that were moved said they want to be moved and they were moved. Mr. Speaker, I am saying that this thing as small as it is, horrible I think we started with that. It's simple as it is, but I don't think we need to create unseen problem which we, are, we may unconsciously have fostered by changing this. To that extent, Mr. Speaker, I wish to say with respect that I am not in support of this motion. Thank you, Mr. Bill. This bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.